my name's Emily. I hope you're all having a thankful, grateful, family, food-filled Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I hope you get to spend it with your family and friends and just have a good time. I know it could be a stressful holiday for some people, so I hope it's not stressful. I hope it's just a good time and you get to have some good food. And I know not a lot of people celebrate it either, so if you don't, I'm sorry. Today we're going to be doing a little hand-drawn turkey nail. So you know like the turkeys you draw in like kindergarten? Well, we're putting them on our nails. So isn't that fun? Isn't that festive? Side note, since I only have one camera and it's my phone because I'm a professional, all of the video is going to be recorded just from down here for a bit and then we'll come back up here. So I, if I had two cameras, they would look better. But you know, it's fine. You'll see my gross hands for a while. And I'm not a nail artist, so that's even more fun. Maybe you can do better than I can and be thankful for that. Okay, so first things first, I'm just gonna wipe off my nail beds with some acetone just to make sure there's no residue or any oils. So we're just gonna take our base coat by Orly and just apply that over all the nails. So, okay, so first things first, we're gonna do a base coat of all of the main colors we're gonna be using, which are brown, red, orange, green, and yellow. You can also play around with the order of things, so if you want it to be like green, orange, red, and yellow, you can do that. Whatever order you want. These are gonna be our feathers, and then this will be our turkey head color. So it needs to be brown, but these ones you can play around with. So we're gonna be doing a base coat of those on all of our fingers. For me, I'm gonna be doing my order like this. So this will be my pointer, this will be my middle, this will be my ring finger, and this will be my pinky finger. Shiga, shiga, shiga. All right, so I'm just gonna do another coat of the colors. All right, so now that these boys are dry, now comes the fun part where we get to make our turkey's face and our little feather boys. Okay, so we're gonna start with the feathers first, which means you're gonna need a nail brush kind of like this with the long tip at the top. And what we're gonna do is use our black nail polish and put it on the brush. And what we're gonna do, as you can see, I kind of screwed up a little bit. Well, you're gonna go from the bottom of the middle to the top of the middle in a straight line if you can. I'm not good at those. There we go. You got a nice straight line and you're gonna do that on all four of your feathers. Now that you got your lines and they don't look too good, if you're like me, they don't look good at all, what you're gonna do is basically just make a bunch of Y parts coming off of it to look like the feather. And you kind of want them to fade off as they go towards the outside, so it's okay if you use like excess from before to do this part so it looks a little more feathery instead of just manufactured. So we're just going to do that kind of design on all four of our feather nails. a little more vivid so you can see what I'm doing but I screwed up a lot right there but you know it's just artistic expression do what you want it's gonna be bad sometimes and it's gonna look good sometimes moving on to the turkey my favorite part it's so much fun okay so what we're gonna do for the turkey is grab our black again and grab our crusty dusty daughter tool and we're gonna be using the big dot at the end of it. You can use any dot or you can, but I'm gonna be using the end of it. Don't think it's supposed to be used for this, but whatever. We're gonna just put some black on there. And we're gonna dot two little dots to make our turkey's eyes. All right, they're not even, and they're not even centered, so that's great. Moving on, 
We're gonna take our yellow, our regular yellow, not the shiny one, and a brush with a slightly smaller brush to it. And we're just gonna put the yellow on the brush and we're gonna make a little beak. Okay, so we got our cute little turkey beak going on now. Okay, for the eyes of the turkey to give it a glimmer of hope, we're gonna use our white and we're gonna use the little daughter part of the daughter we were using earlier for the black. We're gonna use the top of it now, just the little end. And we're gonna put some white on the end of it and we're gonna add little dots. So I added two big dots. It looks kinda, he looks kinda shady right now. So we're just gonna add another little dot right up there. So moving on, we're gonna be using the red from earlier and the brush that we used to paint on the beak. And I wiped it off with some nail polish remover to get most of the yellow off. And we're just gonna put some red on there. And then we're just gonna draw in a little gobble. I think that's what they're called. Last but not least, you have to apply your top coat. Make sure to wrap the tip. All right, so I finished both of our little turkey boys. Cue the montage. Okay guys, well I think we discovered I shouldn't give tutorials, but you know what? I probably will continue. I'm thankful that it didn't go as bad as I thought it would. All right guys, well I hope you're all having a happy Thanksgiving and continue to do so and I'll see you next time.